What's up guys, good morning. So I asked you guys two days ago in a video to guess the total amount of wrap I used on this whole car. The total amount of wrap I ordered was 74 feet. There's nobody that guessed, guessed 74 feet. Joe DeSoto guessed 75, so he was the closest winner. I'll have it on the screen, Joe. So make sure you send me a DM on Instagram. I'll get this air fresher signed and send you away, brother. Now you guys saw the title of the video for sure. And the title was, how much did it cost to wrap my car? Let me pull up my phone real quick. How much did it cost to wrap my car? So the car is, a, obviously it's an FRS, Scion FRS, GT86, whatever. Um, it's a full wide body, so it's a 16 piece rally back here, B2 wide body kit that added a lot of extra vinyl guys. There's a few things I also messed up on. So I redid the roof once, I redid the full trunk once, or like, I redid the full trunk once and then half of it twice, so. A lot of wasted vinyl there and then part of the rear bumper I had to redo so guys the total amount of money I spent on this wrap $731 and that does sound like quite a bit to me but I gotta remember it is a full wide body car so that adds so much extra vinyl and then the fact that I had to redo a few things that adds even more what you guys can expect to pay for wrap if it's not a wide body probably like five six hundred dollars and then wide body car seven to eight hundred dollars and once again i ordered i used 74 feet so i used let's see 15 feet of gloss black the five feet first five feet i threw away because it was for the roof and it cracked so the next five feet was for the roof again it turned out perfect and then the additional five feet was for all the random little vents and black overlays and whatnot i did on the car and then that brings me to like what's around 60 feet of the actual color of the car, which is I think what about a lot of people use is about 60 feet on a full car. So I hope that answers your question guys. The total amount of money I spent on the car was $731. Now let's jump right into today's video guys. I am gonna be working on the front and rear bumpers, the hardest part of the whole car. Make sure you stay tuned to see what happens. Good morning YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna finish up probably the rest of the car with wrapping. I'm gonna go ahead and bust out the side skirt I have to do and then we're gonna move on to the rear bumper. I'm not gonna film a side skirt, I already showed you on the passenger side. So let's just jump right into the rear bumper in one second. All right guys, got the side skirt all finished up. Now it's time to move on to the rear bumper. I have it off the car right now and I think I'm gonna try to wrap it on these little sawhorses here. And this is definitely gonna be a two piece wrap. Originally I was going to do this section right here above this line black, but I realized it, wouldn't really, it doesn't line up with this black here because it comes all the way to the edges. So this complete bumper is gonna Obviously, I'm gonna be replacing that diffuser with a different diffuser. So that's gonna be black. First thing I need to do, there's a sticker on here. This says Scion right there. It's kind of funny. I had this bumper sitting up on that car over there, just stored away. And when I pulled it down, I thought this little edge right here of the sticker, I thought that was a crack and I was like freaking out. I was like, shit, now I gotta order a new rear bumper before I can do anything. But then I realized it was just a sticker. So I'm gonna go ahead, rip this sticker off, get this thing cleaned up. It's really, really disgusting. And get to wrapping. I am not exactly sure if I'm gonna do this an overlay or an inlay right here. Try to figure out what would look better. Honestly, I think it'd look better as an overlay. Because if you're looking down at it, you don't want to see the edge of the wrap coming up. So I think it'd look better if it was tucked over. So this is gonna be. I'll, I'll run my knife list right here, do the big section first, so the pretty much whole bumper, and then I'll come and do that overlay afterwards. So let's get to work. I'm gonna just set up the camera, run a little time lapse of me cleaning up this bumper, getting that sticker off, getting everything ready to go. I have decided to throw the bumper onto the car just so I can get a lot of strips under this vinyl. And then I'll pull it off and finish it up. I'm just gonna set it on there. Try to do it either way. This is just the way I'm choosing to do it. Gonna give it one last wipe down and get to rocking.
Well guys, major, major issue. When I pulled the bumper off the car, this wasn't laid down here, obviously, and a bunch of dirt got under there. So either I can redo the whole bumper or I can cut it on this line here and run a panel. That's probably what I think I'm gonna do. Let me go move to the other side and see how that side looks. Guys, I got all of the wrap with dirt on it cut off. Cut right on this body line here, so that's gonna hide the seam. But I'm gonna do this right this time. Last time I definitely should have had the tail lights out of here and that side wide body kit off. I already pulled the wide body off. Gotta pull the tail lights and then we can get back to work. What a pain this bumper has been though. And let me tell you guys, bumpers are not that fun. All right, we just have this one panel left, so you know the drill. Necklace tape it is. So the full bumper is done. I got everything in here done and what I ended up doing, cutting out the section here, and I'm gonna wrap that gray section black. I could totally leave it gray as well, but I kinda wanna wrap it black, it'd be fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. And then we, let me turn this around. As soon as I get that little part right there wrapped, we can move on to the front bumper. That is probably gonna be worse than the rear. So, and I'm, I'm honestly guys, I'm running out of wrap again. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough, but we'll, I guess we'll see in a minute if I have enough or not. So I'm gonna bust this out real quick and I will see you guys when we move on to the front bumper. The funnest part of this whole job. What is up guys, welcome back to the vlog. If I can get my zone, this is officially gonna be the last day of wrapping this FRS behind me. I saved the worst for last. I am gonna be messing around with the front bumper today. I'm also gonna have to do part of the front lip. I'm doing the lip itself and I'm not doing the splitter below it, but I'm gonna do the lip itself. So I do know that is gonna be pretty difficult, but this bumper is full of rock chips, guys. So I'm gonna bust out some sandpaper, some probably four or 800 grit, get all the rock chips smoothed out so it looks good when I get wrapped, when I get it wrapped. And then we can jack the car up, we're gonna jack the car up in the air, pull the headlights off, pull these front over fenders off, and get to wrapping. So let's get to work. I'm gonna bust out the sandpaper like I already said, get this thing looking flawless. And I know you guys are probably wondering, is that gonna destroy your paint, Devin? Yeah, it is, but if I was not wrapping this car, I'd be getting this front bumper repainted anyway. So it is not a big deal, guys. Either way, I would be doing this, wrapping or not wrapping. So I'm gonna start off obviously by doing all of the inlays. What's gonna be inlaid here is the headlights and then down there I have to do some sort of inlay. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do here because there's no, I wish I could just do everything at once including all this. As you can see this body line kind of fades out. So I could bring it all the way across the front down here or I could just come up here and go across right here. So I think that's what, or I could just do this. I could just do the inside part here, come down here and most of that will be covered by the lip anyway. So I don't know, we'll see. But for now, let's do the headlight inlays. These are gonna go black, the headlight inlays. I think that'll add a little bit of 
meanness, contrast to the front end. Jordan, if you're watching this, Jordan Michka, I'm stealing this idea from you, bro. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is this inlay in here. So it's just gonna be this lower panel right here. Should be very simple to do. Let's go ahead and bust that out. All right guys, all the inlays are done. So the headlight inlays, done. On both sides, those are black, gloss black. And then I have this lower portion down here, fully done. So that should make it a lot easier to wrap. I think we're good to go now. I have to run my necklace tape for these inlays and also down here. And what else? I think that's it. Just run the necklace tape and then wipe it down and get to work. I ain't gonna lie guys, I am a little nervous right now just because I know this is a little more technical than anything I've done. It's the most technical thing. But I have a strong feeling I can get it done just fine. All right guys, so I went and took like a three, four hour break when busted out the R1 for the first time this year. It's super nice out today, it's like 60, 65 degrees. But this bumper is pretty much done. As you can see, I have, it's pretty much done. I don't know why I didn't finish it, but I have some to trim off down here. Don't mind that guys, that the lip covers that. That's pretty much why I bought the lip I did, because it covers that right there. So I gotta trim that up, tuck that in there, trim a little bit on the end over there and then I can install my fog lights I can install the center grill again if I am even gonna run it I think I am and then what else put the headlights back on and then we will be done wrapping guys this bumper is turning out amazing super super happy with my work on this thing super stoked because I spent a lot of time prepping I pulled the headlights out I pulled the wide body off got the car from the air so I can actually work on the thing and it all paid off because this thing's turning out probably the one of the best panels I've done so very very happy with this bumper but let's get back to work I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up real quick so let's set the camera up and get to it oh one more thing I gotta wrap the little tow hook tow hook cover right there I gotta wrap that as well and one more thing or two more things I gotta wrap are these I was gonna buy some carbon fiber ones of these but they are so expensive so I think I'm gonna just wrap these black Unless someone has a BRZ set for sale. Jordan, do you have a set for sale, bro? Um, I like the BRZ ones better than these GT86 ones. They're, they're just like a little line that runs through these. So if anyone has a set of these for sale, any color, doesn't matter, they're gonna be wrapped anyway. Shoot me a DM on Instagram, DV, it's at DV Nimela, so at D-V-N-I-E-N-E-L-A. But, all right, enough talking. Let's get to work. All right guys, the front bumper is completely done. Now I'm gonna bust out these little vent things or the little fender, what are they called? 
fender louvers, fender, b -b 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 fender trim pieces. Let's call them fender trim pieces. Like I said earlier, I want a little different style, but I don't have them right now, so I'm gonna sit down on the ground. Got my nice little stool here, stool here, and I'm gonna wrap these black. The only thing I'm gonna have to do on these, trim the edges and then trim out that GT86 badge. They're super flat, so it should take five minutes piece. Bam. Just like that, guys. Good enough for now. So the whole car is officially done. Wrapped. Wait. I gotta do the lip still. So I still have to do the lip. The only thing is, guys, I don't know if I have enough vinyl to do the lip. As you can see in here, I have a bunch of little pieces, but I don't have one big piece to do the main part of the lip. There's gonna be a lot of little inlays and yeah, just a lot of little inlays on that lip, just so everything holds up fine. So I can get all the inlays done, but as far as doing like the whole lip in one piece, after all the inlays, that is out of the question. So I might have to do a few pieces on it. I don't really know. I guess we'll see. Uh, but the whole car itself is done, 100%. Very, very happy with how it came out. Looks amazing for the most part. There's a few little imperfections here and there. Um, mainly that stuff like that was already in the vinyl guys it's really weird but laying it down I would notice like some little I don't know it's like thicker glue in areas it's, it's kind of weird you guys have to see in person but very overall very very happy to tell us and came out let me show you these bumpers real quick and then I will wrap up this video Now you guys probably saw the rear bumper and noticed the messed up diffuser. I have ordered in a diffuser for that bumper, or for this car. So that'll be in a whole install video on its own whenever it comes in. But guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end up the, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video right here. A lot of you are probably, probably wondering when I'm gonna reveal the wrap, and that is gonna be after I get the wheels installed on the car. So I think tomorrow's video will be me powder coating the wheels. Let me think. Yeah, tomorrow's video is gonna be powder coating the wheels. The video after that is going to be how to assemble and fully rebuild three-piece wheels. And then sometime after that, within the next few days, I want to shoot like a nice little car reveal or a color reveal video. Of course, I have to get the wheels on, but as you guys will see tomorrow in tomorrow's video, I have an issue with tires, so make sure you guys keep an eye out for that. I'll give you a little secret. There's a hole through one of, one of my tires through the sidewall, so very shitty deal there. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video right here, guys. Really hope you enjoyed it. Pretty fun doing these bumpers overall. It's, it's pretty difficult, but I, I got it got it done. So very happy with how they came out, like I already said a million times. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button right up there if you're not already subscribed. I'm sorry guys if you hate the black and white, but I really just want to do a nice color reveal when it's all said and done because it truly looks amazing. You guys are not going to be disappointed. So I will see you in tomorrow's video.